Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We got Trenton in here with us this afternoon. He's from Austin, so he came down here from Austin. And uh, he works at one of my all time favorite restaurants in the state of Texas, yes, Chewy's yes, on Barton Springs, there. It's the original good Tex Mex, huh? The best. Yep. Well, Trent comes in here today complaining of neck pain that raised down into his right shoulder and, and trap and clavicles here, or not clavicles, but uh, shoulder blades. And uh, he gets some headaches one time, two times a month, three times sometimes. Dizziness occasionally, upper thoracic tightness, not a lot of pain there, but a lot of tightness. Right shoulder blade stuff and right shoulder pain. He gets some low back pain in the past, but not recently. And he had left leg pain down to his thigh on the left side previously, but not now. And he gets some pain and tightness in his left knee as well. Uh, played a lot of high school football, four years of high school football, so he's had a lot of repetitive cumulative compression trauma there. He denies any loss of bladder bowel dysfunction or foot drop as we checked him on his history, so he's good to go on pathology here to get these adjustments. Did I miss anything, Trenton? Nope, you got it. All right, so this is his very first adjustment here at our office. How would you describe our exam and history procedures? It was very thorough. Um, you asked a lot of questions and kind of covered the whole body yep. and, and the injuries. Yeah, we don't mess around here with people's health. No. That's good. Okay, so first adjustment, we're going to put you face down again, then, Trenton. All okay. right. I'm going to start off adjusting your sacrum on that left side. So you can see in his prone posture, his left leg short by about a half an inch. I bring it up, it gets even right there, and that tightens up in his low back and thighs mostly. Palpation, he's got a posterior left sacrum. Now, when we did the sacred deviation test, I'm going to have you lock this straight again, Trent, and lift that whole right leg up. So that tightens up in his back up here a little bit, but doesn't cause any restriction down here. Let that one go. Now do this left side. Now see, this one doesn't come up as far, and that was a little tighter, you said, in your thigh, right? Yep, right there. Yep. You boy, that quad was like a rock when I touched that. <laughs> He's got paraspinal hypertonicity on this right side of his lumbar spine, starting in the lower thoracics. But a lot of that's compensatory to his sacrum being deviated on the left, so you get counter, uh, counter rotation in the lumbar spine. He's got several thoracic spine vertebrae subluxated along with the rib heads where they attach. His neck's out in about three spots here, C5, C6 on the right, C3, 4 on the right, a little bit C2 even. So I'm going to adjust his left sacrum first. Yep. Just both his SI joints, sacrum left, right, center, L5, straight P to A, fourth P to A, three P to A, L2 and L1 P to A with a little I to S drive. Keep nice deep breath for me. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. <clears throat> You're making me work for him today, aren't you, Trent? <laughs> Look at there already. Perfectly even. See, see if this feels any easier this time. That tighten up as much as the first one? Um, no. A little bit tighten. A little, little tighten your quad still? Yeah. More lower back this time. Okay. Adjust your cervicals here next. Yep. Okay, let's turn you on your back now, please, sir. That's if I'd have known you were coming from Chewy's, I would have had you bring me down yeah. one of their great big burritos. Excellent. Their burritos are as big as a plate. Oh, yeah. Put both arms out. They don't make them like that here in Houston, though. No, they don't. Not the same as the one up there in Austin. We gotta let them know. You should let them know. French, I was supposed to do the same recipe, right? Yeah. Yep. There we go. Okay, you can relax your hands there, yeah. Let this right leg go like a limp rag for me. Yes, sir. You should have felt that from your knee all the way up to your lower back. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, can we have this one too? Yes, sir. Super duper. I see that left knee moved on that. Yeah, you feel that? I felt it. Just face that way. There we go. Ooh, you got some crap to sit in this left one as well. It's not as bad though. Yep. Elbow. This will help your lifting too. Really? Yep. Yeah. You should notice an immediate awesome. strength increase. Should I work out today? Sure you can. Okay. In fact, I encourage people to work out right after their adjustments. Okay. Because then you strengthen up in place. Yeah. When okay. you strengthen up and you're out of place, it actually creates neural negative yeah. plasticity in your brain. Wow. Let's come over here on this table next to you. On your back, trim with your butt on that pad, head up this way. Let your legs just relax. The table's going to lift them up. I bet you know what this is called if you've been yep. watching my videos. The ring dinger. The ring dinger. The original. So I'm here. We got the original team ring dinger in the room we're here right now, too. Really? Tristan, he is original team ring dinger. Wow. Still have to call him Tristan because he hadn't got his Texas license in the mail yet. Mm. <laughs> okay, you want to keep your teeth together on this one, Trent. Don't bite your tongue. Breathe through your nose. Yes, sir. <laughs> now you should have felt that go all yeah. the way down your spine, did you, Trent? Yeah. Deep, breath. deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. You feel better when it quits hurting. There you go. Ooh, boy. More girth on that. That should help that right shoulder pain. Uh-huh. Oh. You're going to be sore for about 72 hours after this first adjustment. That's pretty common. Okay. Don't get freaked out when you get sore. Just put crushed ice in a freezer baggie right on the skin for 20 minutes over the sore spot. Okay. Don't put heat on this ever. Let me help you up sideways. You always want to bring your legs over. Okay. See, so get up sideways like that. When you sit straight up, you put your spine in flexion. Mm -hmm. The bird will move backwards and they'll pinch on the nerves quicker. Okay. Let's come over here and shoot you now. Let's look at you standing up like a military oh, man. You see yeah. the difference? Definitely. You have your shoulders squared off? Without trying. Yeah. yeah. That's the cool thing about it. Not only can you feel the difference, you can visibly see the difference. Yeah. You still have a few sore spots in here. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to show your homework. Okay. Your head's forward, pulling your shoulders forward. So first thing, pull these shoulders up and back with your rhomboid back. Yep. And your head's forward Z. So we go negative Z and then look backwards at the wall behind you. Negative theta X cervical. Hit your atlas on both sides to retrain your brain how to hold you in this new mirror image. Okay. Okay, relax. When you go forward backwards again, this time it should feel a little bit easier, Trent, but you tell me. Yep. That feels smoother? Oh yeah, it goes right back. Yes, sir. Move your shoulder around, see how that feels now. Oh yeah. That calmed down some? Yeah, it's loose. Yeah, good. Yeah. Well, how would you describe your first experience here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief to our other YouTube crack addicts? It was incredible. Just that ring dinger just sent it all the way down my back and yep. it released what I needed. Yeah, like pretty cool rest. stuff, huh? Yeah. It's a real deal, huh? Yeah. You don't really get a full feel of that just watching it on YouTube. No, I had to drive down here. It's a lot deeper in person, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas with Trenton from Austin, Texas. We'll see y'all soon.